UMass Lowell, UMass Amherst. Home and home this weekend, Friday night at the Saga Center, Saturday out at the Mullins Center in Amherst, Massachusetts. Joining us, Blaze McDonald, head coach of your UMass Lowell Hockey River Hawks. And Blaze, what's this weekend about? Well, it's another chance for us after, uh, you know, a pretty good break. Uh, we had a decent weekend of hockey, uh, not measured by wins and losses, but really how we played and trying to accomplish some, some short-term goals that I think are going to lead us to uh, some wins down the road here. thought we played well, so now it's another chance to build on those strengths, what we established as part of our game last weekend, build on those this weekend, and also two you know, huge games in Hockey East in terms of points and a team that we're trying to catch. I mean, we're looking up at everybody right now, so this is an opportunity to, uh, to uh, you know, grab some points if we play well. All right, I guess simply put, what's this weekend about? Four points. Can we get four points? Absolutely, starts with two though. What's it take to get four points? What's it take to get the first two? Take the first two, we just gotta get into the game early. We gotta score first. I feel like we haven't been up all year with the lead and just gotta put pucks on net. Feel as though we're ready to do that? Are we are we ready to take that next step as a hockey team? Absolutely. I feel like the uh, practices all week have been really intense and guys have been getting after it, so I think it should be a good Friday and Saturday night for us. I guess for this team, it, it's a point now where we need to win. Yeah, I mean, that, that goes without saying. I don't think Amber, I don't, I'm pretty sure I've never in my career gone into a game not trying to win it uh, in every game. So, I mean, that's like breathing. You know, of course we want to win. Is this team capable of winning? Is this team capable of getting hot? Uh, you know, I think some guys. You know, to, I think some guys have not played up to their potential in terms of productivity. Uh, I think what's held us back. You know, in terms of that, is just our ability to create some offense, uh, and that's through some shots, that's through some offensive zone play, and then ultimately guys being able to bury it, uh, score some goals. So, you know, we've got some very talented guys that have one goal. <laughs> two goals, uh, and that's amazing. Uh, but, you know, we've got to create, we haven't created enough sustained offensive zone time. I thought we did a better job this weekend of that. We have to get more shots on net, which increase the probability of scoring, obviously. Uh, we did a better job of that this weekend, and now we've got to get guys just uh, finishing off and, and executing. It's getting two points, getting that first win, that Friday night win. Does that make a difference? Does that take pressure off? Does it does it change anything mentally? Um, we just got to focus on Friday night. Saturday is Saturday. We just got to focus for tomorrow night and uh, just get the win tomorrow. Team played better last weekend. Didn't get a W. What's the one thing we're not doing that we need to be doing? Uh, just making mental mistakes. I feel like we're playing well and then all of a sudden we have like one mental lapse. We get a two-on-one or three on one the wrong way and we'll just make a bad turnover. We just gotta cap or correct those and then capitalize on our scoring chances. Is team capable? Is there talent there? Is this team is this team a pretty good team that can do the things necessary to win and to win with frequency? Absolutely. I think we have a ton of talent and uh, just a lot of guys haven't necessarily I don't know if they're freshmen that is just I don't know, they weren't confident at the beginning of the year, but now just uh, I feel like the guys that are goal scorers are going to start scoring more goals. I can just see them in practice. They're starting to shoot, shoot and score, and not hitting pads, and not missing the net. UMass Amherst, a, a sister school, a cousin. Does it, does it make any difference? Well, I mean, just reading a couple articles about them, just saying, oh, we have to be low, get our, get them to the feet, no more excuses, like just saying stuff about us. Um, just yeah, definitely a rivalry, and we definitely want to be there for ready for the game. Two very different buildings this weekend. The NHL-sized Sangas Center at uh, UMass Lowell and then out at the Mullen Center in Olympic Sheet. This weekend, does home ice make a big difference? Yeah, I think it does because we're here home Friday night. You know, I think you have an opportunity to establish, you know, what type of brand you're going to be this weekend, uh, the image you want to portray. Uh, you know, we're playing in a comfortable surroundings here. We haven't played at home uh, in a long time. Uh, we've gone through a lot of home games early on in the season, so it's going to be good to get back here. Uh, and, and now we can establish, um, you know, all sorts of components of our game at home here, which I think we'll carry, if we do a good job, we'll carry over Saturday at the Mullen Center. And we just played UNH on a big sheet as well. So uh, we had some practices the week before that on a big Olympic ice surface. So I think we're familiar with that uh, because of our recent experiences. As a hockey club, are we at a point where we need to define who we are? 
Well, we, we haven't been able to do that because we don't have our team together. You know, I mean, uh, yeah, we can define who we are. We're a team, of, we're a banged up team with a lot of freshmen playing. That's who we are. Uh, now we've got Pat Say back in the lineup. He's had a weekend to play. Mike Bud's back in the lineup. He had a weekend to play. Uh, Chad Ruedel had missed three games before break. Now he's back in the lineup. Now, you know, we're starting to get there. You know, we're starting to be that team that has an opportunity to figure out exactly who we are. That's who we thought we were going to be able to evolve into in the beginning of the year. And all of a sudden we were, uh, you know, we, we lost a lot of key players. All right, Coach, let's go get them. Let's uh... I'll jump the gun and say let's get four points. Sounds good to me, Bob. That's Blaze McDonald again. UMass Lowell, UMass Amherst, home and home, Friday night at the Sangha Center, Saturday at the Mullins Center.